It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we have a beer that I'm going to struggle to pronounce and I shouldn't really because it's my native, not my native tongue, but it's the language spoken of where I live, where I was born, Wales. Um, have I ever learned Welsh? I've tried to learn a little bit of Welsh in school, you know they try and teach you it many years ago but I'm not much good at it. I know Kuru means beer in Wales, in Welsh. But is it Lal? Is that Lal or Yal? Um, Cumni Bragu Community. Kuru Lal, Yal. <coughs> 4.3% ABV, 440 milliliter can, and it's called Kaya Kaha. So this seems like New Zealand, a New Zealand style beer. So uh, without further ado then, uh, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. So I'm gonna think maybe it's a New Zealand IPA or something along those lines. Some people might see it as ignorant that I live in Wales and I don't speak Welsh. A bit like living in France and not speaking French. Italian and not speaking Italian. Um, but my parents, of course, like many, many, like probably 99% of Welsh people, you br you brought up to speak first and foremost English. It's the international language of the world, and my kid. Oh, we'll get into it all in a moment. All the, I mean, I, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it's too political. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't talk about um, my feelings on the Welsh language. Maybe I should just concentrate on the beer. Um, we got a one to two finger, white head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. hazy amber coloured beer. Uh, let's get the aroma on this one. Is there any sediment? There's a little bit of etching on the bottom of the glass here. Um, is there any sediment? Not really. We'll check out the rest from the can in a moment. Uh, but first let's get the aroma. Yeah, this smells like... <clears throat> it's the aroma of... like a traditional well-built ale, but with quite a few New Zealand hops in it. Lots of multi grainy aromas coming through. It smells fantastic. And then that kind of New Zealand kiwi fruits, tropical must coming through, a little bit of kind of orange and lemon. A little bit of sweetness coming through, spicy pepperiness. The beer was kindly sent to us from today's channel sponsor, bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. Best of British Beer, beer uh, a fantastic online beer company where you pay a subscription and you get beers sent to you every single month. And the great thing about this is, this is my first beer from this, from this brewery. I've never had anything from Kuru Al before. And it's great because when I get these beers from Best of British Beer, I'd say 90% of the breweries I've never heard of. And I've reviewed like 10,000 beers on YouTube. I'm still being presented by this company with fantastic, like small community fan type breweries that, that I love to find. This is what used to make me really excited about beer and it was the reason why I started my YouTube channel in the first place because I realized just how many many beers were out there and how many breweries are out there that still to this day 13 years on I've never tried and never heard of so best of British beer check them out there's a link in the description box of the video let's dive in cheers everybody
Oh, it's amazing. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a fantastic beer this is. Mmm. Oh, it's the water. It's the water. Beautiful, soft Welsh water. You can taste it. You can oh, taste how fresh this water is. This brewing water that they're using. <clears throat> Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of, of the, of the flavour. Good quality biscuit malt coming through in the flavour. The, the malt is fantastic. It's like a sweet meal digestive. So malt over there. And then the hops coming through on the back end. It, it kind of like, the best way I can describe it is almost like a meow bar, like a tutti frutti, um, tropical, lovely pineapple grapefruit orange peel but but a lovely bit of sweetness there like a candied sweetness i'm really impressed by this really really impressed and and, and not because i'm welsh and i'm reviewing a welsh beer nothing to do with that whatsoever it's just really good look at the look at the lacing on the glass look at the head retention look at that lovely thick creamy head Look at the carbonation as I rock the beer back and forth. You can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It's a really well put together beer. There's no sediment in the bottom of the glass. But you can see them small bubbles. An old brewer once told me, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. This is this is tremendous, tremendous beer. I could drink, oh, I could drink six cans of this on a Saturday afternoon. Mmm. That is absolutely delightful. Absolutely delightful beer. Just super sessionable. It's not over malty, it's not over hoppy. It's just perfect. There's enough malt taste, there's enough hop taste. The water's fantastic. The carbonation, how this beer, the, the mouthfeel is fantastic. Really, really good beer. Really good beer. I want to try more beer from this company. <sighs> Koo Lal Community Brewing Company, Burley Hill Garage, Pant de Road, Erinus, Denbyshire. Brewing with purpose. Oh, it's really good. Really good. And I didn't even have to speak about my, 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 because the beer did all the talking. I didn't even have to tell you my feelings on the Welsh language, did I? <laughs> um, I don't speak Welsh. We'll leave it at that. The beer looks good, smells good, tastes fantastic. I'm going to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 beer from Riedel Craft Beer. My type of beer my type of football club. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.